There used to be a lot of lads type humor t-shirts in fashion. For example one with a cartoon wedding couple with the text game over across them. I think another of a pole dancer with I support single mothers or I support gay couples. So long as both chicks are hot, I judge pretty hard on those based on the fact someone chose to wear it because they want everyone to know what they think. Especially if they wore any on a first date, but that's another story for another time. New, now I want to hear the story. I'll go first, those naked anime girl t-shirts. I once had a guest lecturer at uni wearing a baseball cap version of one of these. I think he was speaking about independent publication in Australia, something not anime related, but the cap had two schoolgirl characters having sex on the front of it. I mostly notice this in men, when pants hang so low you can see the butt crack. My mom explained to me it happens to guys with a beer belly. Their pants just won't stay up around their waists. But just wear a belt. Those, word used incredibly loosely, comedy shirts like, FBI, female body inspector, etc. I'm not a gynecologist but I'll take a look. Shirts with naked, half-naked women just give me insult or, please believe I have sex, vibes. I watch porn often. People wearing, salt life, t-shirts. We're in fucking Kentucky. Also, it legit looks like it says slut life. Overpriced apparel from a celebrity clothing line, looking at you Kanye. It just seems like a giant waste of money when you can buy the exact same look for way cheaper. Agreed. I also think Supreme is really dumb. It's so expensive for no reason. Those ugly weird looking jeans on guys. You know what I'm talking about. The ones with all the weird lines between the knee, thigh that usually have some kind of shitty acid wash. Yeezys. Same, I can't imagine spending that much on shoes and they're ugly too. Nazi clothing woman shrugging medium skin tone. At my old job there was a regular who fucking louved wearing his Nazi merch, blatantly fishing for confrontation that we never gave. It was almost funny how he escalated from a MAGA hat, to a shirt with a subtle Nazi symbols, to full-blown, make America white again, hat with swastika hoodie and 14-word shirt. I can only imagine what bullshit he's wearing next. Flesh-colored leggings. I can't understand the ladies who put these on in the morning and decide it's a good look to leave the house with. I have a pair of salmon-colored ones. Not my skin tone at all but they are a skin tone, so I won't wear those out in public, or to walk the dog, or even past windows in my house. I should probably just get rid of them. A tux. Everyone looks good in a tux. Men, women, NB, young, old, middle-aged. I will always judge someone positively for wearing a well-fitted tuxedo when the occasion calls for it. I like how you took the judging positively approach on the question. Ed Hardy, and similar, shirts I'm not saying people who wear them are bad people, it's just that I can usually smell their cologne from across a room. Cologne is a very generous term here. MAGA hat. Those anime porn shirts. Any of those ultra try hard tough guy shirts conservative dads like to wear that say shit like, real men stand for the anthem but kneel for the cross, or whatever other shit. I saw one of those anime porn shirts in the wild the other day. Dude was just walking across the street wearing a very colorful and loud shirt of a naked anime child looking woman with giant breasts. Flushed. Bold move, kid. You look incredibly creepy. The people who wear the F asterisk asterisk your feelings shirts. It just tells me that you are not an emotionally intelligent person. And on the flip side of this, the be a nice human shirts. It's almost always the judgmental chicks with a superiority complex that wear those. MAGA merch. Or any, let's go Brandon, merch. Crocs. Unless it's me. I love my leopard print crocs. I love your honesty about this lol. A scarf. And not in a negative way. 
I kinda wish I knew how to be you. Me too. So jealous of women that can pull off a great scarf. I am not one of them but long to be lol. Those really tacky shirts with a bunch of conservative or pro-gun messages. And usually the Punisher Skull LMAO. And they also have a bunch of irrelevant information in addition to the conservative pro-gun stuff. And every line is in a different font. Dot. I'm a welder. I was born in May. I have guns and anger issues. If you don't like it, move. I have three daughters. Yes they bought me this shirt. Anything with the Playboy logo. So many guys and gals, especially the gals, wear Playboy at my university and I feel so confused when I see it. Like why? Edit. Forgot to specify at my university. Unnecessary amounts of camo, like just casually not even for camouflage. I read a story years ago about a guy who knew from a young age that he was gay. As a cover he wore camo all the time, camo backpack, lunch bag, book covers etc. His family thought that he was a, real man, but he just liked the way it all coordinated. Umbrella hat. And by judge I mean secretly think, where can I get one of those? I have one. I look like a super dork in it and the kid won't walk with me, only six feet behind. Don't care. Full on fetish wear anywhere outside that isn't a club or a fetish event. As someone with a lot of friends in the kink community, this is my unpopular opinion. There are subtle ways to do it which I totally don't mind, but like. Dot the cardinal rule of kink is not involving non-consenting people. T-shirts that are clearly intended to be antagonistic and offensive. Go fight on the internet like a normal person. I saw a man wearing one with a quote about white privilege my one and only thought was, what a effing loser. They're just advertising to the world how badly they'll treat anyone in their orbit. I'm quite open-minded and I love all sorts of fashion and styles and can respect people's differences, but graphic t-shirts with offensive or stupid messages. Especially if it's offensive to women. Nope. Thumbs down. Woman came into my store the other day wearing a bra, no shirt, and was trying to cover her chest. Like what? Just put on a shirt. This is a recurring nightmare of mine. There was once a time when wearing a Punisher logo meant, I like the Punisher character. But now it's basically visual shorthand for, I'm a massive asshole. A masshole. So, anything with the Punisher skull. Bonus points if it's in flag print or that thin blue line thing. On a positive note, I always admiringly judge any cool vintage or goth shit, because that's my jam. FYI, massholes with a capital M are people from Massachusetts. Playboy bunny logos. A fedora. A fedora can work, but you also need many additional things to make it work. Clean shaven, square jaw. A trench coat. A cigarette. An elegant dame that just hired you for a murderous case in your rainy, noir city. A city, streets can't be what they used to be.